So we're here in LA, check this view out. This is 100 Ocean Grove, Santa Monica. A lot of crew from Woodstock Fruit Festival over here. Evan's got his monthly raw food uh, fruit lux, so definitely check it out. I'll put a link down below. You can, if you're in the LA area, come to these fruit events. So we're here with Robbie Barbaro, beautiful Santa Monica, California. And uh, got a little fruit luck over here. So Robbie, you're a type 1 diabetic, is that correct? I am. And you're a promoter of the, uh, the fruit lifestyle, 80 10 10, vegan, high carb, low fat? Absolutely. And as a type 1 diabetic, you had type 1 diabetes before you got in the lifestyle? Or? That's right, it actually sort of helped me uh, find the lifestyle. For sure. So uh, what would be your tips for diabetics? Uh, the most important thing is for, if you're a, if you're a type 1 diabetic, yeah, if you're type 2, you're on medication, you really have to be disciplined about your fat intake and really be aware of your fat intake. So using something like chronometer uh, to figure out exactly what percent of calories are coming from fat. And if you're a uh, type one diabetic, it's the number one mistake. If you're a type one diabetic and you start eating a lot of fruit and if you don't take insulin at least 15 minutes before you start consuming the fruit, you're gonna get a high blood sugar and be like, what the heck's going on and blame the fruit. It's not that, it's that the fruit raises the blood sugar so much quicker than your other, uh, your past diet. So you really have to make sure you have a window when, before you take the insulin, you know, and then when you eat. That's so you like the most important thing. I get so many people saying, oh, I, I'm doing this fruit thing and I and I and my blood sugar was like 400. And I, that's that's the reason. So keep too much fat, or they they ate the fruit too quick after uh, they didn't wait enough time after taking the insulin. For sure. So, do you think it's worth people doing this lifestyle? Does it does it help the health? Absolutely. Does it improve your blood sugar levels um, over time, or what? Well, I would say it it definitely has the potential to if you're having problems. I mean, for me personally, I was I was young. I still am young. I was very active. Even though I was having a terrible diet, I could still keep my blood sugars under control, and I was still getting good A1Cs. Um, but if you're having problems, I mean, there's no doubt that could, and I think another thing that's important is, I mean, I've been doing this diet since December 2006 and I haven't had a single avocado and I don't, I ate nuts and seeds literally once and r rarely do I have durian. Today was one of those occasions, but I just, my fat content is really consistent, yeah. which makes it so it's easy to figure out how much insulin to take and just don't have to worry about so it. So you're like just sugar, sugar, sugar. Pretty much. Nice, nice. And, uh. I guess if there's a type 1 diabetic with a lot of weight issues, it's probably going to help them drop a lot of weight. Sure. It? Well, type, yeah. Type 2s are the people who usually have the weight issues. Yeah, that's type, right. You'll, you'll see a lot of thin type 1s. So type 2 diabetes, you can reverse that, yeah? Oh, for sure. Check type out the movie Forks Over Knives. Definitely. And what about type 1? Um, type 1 is uh, a little tougher to reverse. Um, there's, uh, if you make lifestyle changes soon enough after getting diagnosed, there's a good chance that you might be able to turn things around. If you've been taking insulin for a long time, uh, that's a whole other challenge. If somebody wants to send me a link of somebody who's been taking insulin for like five years and changed their diet and was able to completely get off insulin, I would love to learn from that person. Yeah. But uh, you know, in the whole diabetes movement, there's a lot of people talking about the movie Raw for 30 Days and Kurt Tyson and Gabriel Cousins, and he's got a book called There's a Cure for Diabetes. And uh, the reason uh, Kurt Tyson was able to get off his meds is because he made lifestyle changes very soon after the diagnosis. I mean, he was literally changing his lifestyle in that movie, Rock for 30 Days. He was changing his lifestyle um, while he, he thought he was a type 2. He hadn't even gotten back his blood work. And I'm not saying that, like, I mean, I, I, I've been in touch with Kurt Tyson. I like the guy. He's yeah. a really great guy. It's an important point you just made then. I'm just saying Early that, diagnosis, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, uh, it's possible. And I think that's a, it's a really important point that we need to, you know, how many people right now, every day, are going to their doctor, getting diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and there's that important window right there where, wow, if somebody tells them they make lifestyle changes, they're going to save themselves from a lifetime of, of trouble. Definitely. And a lot of uh, expensive costs. For sure. I'll put a link down below so people can get in contact with Robbie more. Thanks cool. for your time, Rob. Yep, thanks. Thanks, man.